Um, well, NBA Youngboy dropped a song called R.I.P. Lil Fat. And that yeah. was that was your homie from your crew. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, number one, why did it, why did a young boy drop that song? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. You know, probably because you know, young boy liked to live flat. You know, he you know he fuck with live fat music. You know, that, that's probably why he dropped it. You know, but at the time, you know, at the time, nah, I don't want to speak on it. I don't want to speak on. it. I'm gonna let that go. Okay. But uh, he well, uh, but he probably did that cause he he fuck with Lil Fat. Well, uh, Lil Lil Fat got killed in 2014. Uh, when you first heard the news, how badly did it fuck you up? Uh, I was fucked up about it, but me and Fat wasn't seeing eye to eye when he when he died. Hmm. But uh. When I heard about it, I was on the yard, I was on the wreck yard lifting weights when I heard about it. I heard him playing the music all day. First I thought it was his birthday or something, and uh, that when I had heard about it. Well, uh, ultimately three men got convicted uh, of the murder. Uh, they were saying that it was a retaliation for a drug robbery that, that they say he was involved in. Yeah. Um, you know, when you hear a situation like that, so I mean, these I guys got home. like I call, I call, I call home. I call today. I call today. So you know what I'm saying, saying what the happened, woo the woo sing. Nigga was like, you know, nigga, nigga with fat ass, we try to go with his move on a nigga. You know, can't be doing that in the city. You know, you can't be doing that. Can't be doing that shit. Taking from no niggas. So yeah, well, uh, bro, it was just some fucked up shit. He with a nigga who known to do robbery, flunk ass shit, and he died because of that, bro. Well, the, the three guys that got convicted, they got, one of them got 25, one of them got 29, and one of them got 30 years. That ain't uh, a lot of time. Now- If was in Louisiana, all along would've got life. It's sweet in Atlanta. <laughs> that ain't oh, a lot oh, of that, time. Oh, that, that's where they got convicted in Atlanta? Okay. It's sweet out here. I mean, when you have someone that, you know, at the time you weren't fucking with him, but I'm sure you still had love for this guy. Yeah, yeah, I still, you know, I raised Fat, bro. Fat with my little nigga, bro. Fat with my little nigga, I raised a little, I raised Fat, dog. I had raised Fat, dog, but, you know, it wouldn't, it wouldn't, it wouldn't, it wouldn't, it wouldn't, it wouldn't, it wouldn't Fat. Fat ain't do nothing to make the situation how it was. His, his brother had did something to make the situation how it was. It wouldn't, it, you know, it, Fat ain't do nothing. It's, it's just how shit go. Well, I mean, he was on your song, uh, Independent. Yeah, yeah. Which, which was one of your biggest songs ever. Right, 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 right. All this shit I'm talking about happened when I was in jail. Yeah. Like, this shit happened when I was first going to jail and shit. Well, I mean, from someone in your background, when you have something like this happen and the three people that are involved in it ends up getting, you know, 25, 30 years, does that bring closure to the situation? Or is it like, you know how people say, I don't, I don't, I don't wish jail on my worst enemy? Like, how do you feel about a situation like that? Nah, it don't stop there, Vlad. It don't stop there. When they come home, fat people want their head. When they come home, it's back to it. Fat them people won't want their head. You know, that's how that go. That's how I go on the street. Like that shit don't stop right there. After you do that time, you know, that's how that go. After you do that time, it's up. That shit don't end. That nigga don't forgive you after you do your time. Mm. <laughs> you back on the street, they dead. Nigga don't forgive you after you do your time. Shit no.